Here's a classic uh, question where maybe the textbook explanation of what to do is gonna be different than my explanation because unlike the textbook, I don't see this as algebra. I just see this as very simply a bunch of points and a bunch of equations. So we can use my favorite strategy, plug points into equations. So the first point is zero two, and we can easily plug that in because if we plugged in zero for X, all of those first components would go away. So if I plugged in uh, zero in choice A, two times zero is zero, leaving us with just the 42. But the point is telling me that I'm supposed to get a y or an f of x of two. So we can see without really much math that a and b aren't gonna work. They're not gonna produce this particular point. Um, however, c and d, because they both have a plus two at the end, are gonna produce the, the right point. So just to make it really clear, eight times zero plus two would be zero plus two, which is two, which is what it should be. So that works and we would see the same thing in C. But that's okay, this is why whenever we have um, these kind of situations, these plug points into equation situations, just make sure you go through all the choices, double check everything. So now we would just draw C and D and we can do both of the um, uh, equations with this other point, 834. So if we did that to C, we would have four times eight plus two. So that's 32 plus two, which is 34. So that looks good, let's just make sure nothing weird is going on. Eight times eight, plus two, well, 64 plus two is 66, not the number we're looking for, forcing us to pick C. So look, you can absolutely uh, get this right by thinking in terms of y-intercepts. That's probably kind of like the same as what we did at the beginning, but also you can use the two points to calculate the slope. However, I know that that's an equation that a lot of people mess up with, right? The equation is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And especially since some of you kind of like think about um, fractions weird, or maybe you confuse that the y is on the top because your brain really wants x to go first. You're kind of you're gonna flip it accidentally, um, or what happens is you you kind of foolishly pick your first point, and so you end up with negatives, and that can cause problems too. So uh, the the if you're doing it smartly, uh, you would do 34 minus two over eight minus zero. That's 32 over eight which is a slope of four, and sure enough, that's exactly what we had in choice C. So that is doable. Uh, maybe it's not much um, faster or slower, maybe it's kind of even, but I do like the kind of um, robotic way we think about the plug points into equations strategy. If you have points, if you have equations, plug the points into equations, don't think too hard about it.